Jim, your previous weight was 170 pounds. Your current weight is... Your current weight is zero pounds. You have lost 170 pounds in 30 minutes. Listen up, fitness fans, it's physics time! Weight is not the same as mass. Mass, loosely speaking, is the amount of matter in an object. Weight is the force that the object is exerting on the ground. We measure that force using a scale. Weight is a multiplication of your mass and the force of gravity. If you increase or decrease any of these variables, your weight changes accordingly. The moon's gravity is one-sixth that of the Earth's. If you land on the moon, you will weigh six times less than you do on Earth. But your mass remains the same. The particles that make you you didn't go anywhere. Your scale will show a sixth of your original weight on Earth. If your goal is to lose weight, you just achieved it. But you can also reduce your weight without reducing your mass here on Earth. For example, Anytime you go down an elevator in a tall building, you are losing weight. While the elevator is accelerating, it is moving away from your feet, and you are essentially falling. When you go up a tall building, the elevator's acceleration is upwards, and you are pressed strongly against the floor, a situation that increases your weight. Quite a few amusement park rides use these principles to get your guts churning. But everyone knows that the best way to lose weight is to exercise and eat right. That is true only because exercise and nutrition will help you get rid of the mass of fat in your body and by that decrease your weight. When you exercise, your body burns fat and builds muscle. Muscles are denser than fat and have more mass per unit volume. That's why it is typical to gain a bit of weight if your weight loss routine includes building muscle. You replace the lighter mass of fat with a denser and heavier mass of muscle. Your goal is to lose the fat, hence to lose mass. The result is that the scale is telling you that your weight is smaller, and weight is not the same as mass. The term weight loss is so ingrained in our society that it will be futile of me to try and get you to stop using it. That does not mean, however, that you can't understand the physics behind those terms. So remember, if your goal is to lose weight, ride down an elevator or jump off a plane with a parachute. If your goal is to be leaner, exercise and eat right, and get rid of that mass of fat that surrounds your muscles. Alternatively, you can go live on the International Space Station, where weight is not really an issue.